double standard would invite more serious consequence. Press statement of Cho Chul Su, Director General of the Department of International Organizations of the DPRK Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea test fired new type tactical guided missiles on the 25th, which is the exercise of its fair and square right of self defense to deter the military threat to the Korean Peninsula and defend peace and prosperity of the state. However, there is an open dangerous attempt to deny the right of self defense of our state. The United Nations Security Council Sanctions Committee on DPRK held a closed door working level consultation hastily on the 26th, where the United States called for tightening the implementation of sanctions and applying additional sanctions, denouncing our self defensive measures as a violation of the UN resolutions. It is said that a decision was made to hold a closed meeting of the UN Security Council discussing the issue on our test firing of new type tactical guided missiles on the 30th at the proposal of some countries like Britain and France. It is a neglect of our sovereign state and clear double standard for the UN Security Council to question the normal activities belonging to the right of self defense of our state, according to the UN resolutions, direct products of the UN hostile policy toward the DPRK. Many countries of the world are fired in different styles of projectiles in order to strengthen their military muscle. So it is illogical to question only our just self defensive measures. This also holds true when it is viewed from the principle of objectivity and impartiality. It is an elementary principle and order of the solution of problems to make clear the root cause of the occurrence of the problems objectively and fairly. The UN Security Council keeps silence whenever the United States conducts war exercises against the DPRK in our face at any time, but blindly takes issue with the self defensive countermeasures we are taking for security of our state. Then, what about the United States, Britain, and France finding fault with our self defensive measures? Some time ago, the United States made an air raid on the Syrian territory. A few days ago, Britain officially announced a plan to largely increase the number of nuclear warheads, deserting its duty of nuclear disarmament. It is not so long that France test fired a new generation multi tipped intercontinental ballistic missile. Such practices have never been questioned or taken up at the UN Security Council. It is preposterous for such countries going ahead of others in disturbing the global peace and stability to take issue with our self defensive measures. I strongly denounce the moves of the UN Security Council as a serious infringement upon the dignity of an independent state and its sovereignty and a gross violation of the UN Charter as the UN Security Council is holding meetings on and conducting investigations into the DPRK with its extreme bias and double standard. The UN Security Council must thoroughly keep the principle of impartiality, objectivity, and equity first if it is to be conducive to the global peace and security in keeping with its intrinsic mission. If the UN Security Council persists in the double standard, it will instigate not detente but aggravation of situation and not dialogue but confrontation on the Korean Peninsula. We will never overlook the fact that some member nations of the UN Security Council are using the United Nations for their dishonest purpose to infringe upon the sovereignty of the independent countries and hinder their development. Any attempt to infringe upon our right of self defense will inevitably prompt countermeasures in kind. Pyongyang, March 28th, Chuche 110, or 2021.